<laughs> yeah, no, it is a sweetheart. I'm not. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we gonna be the next boxing match? No. I don't think any of you guys expected Nelia Devora to one day come and beef with Dixie D'Amelio after stealing her boyfriend Noah Beck from her. We are literally living in a video game at this point. Aside from Nelia Devora and Dixie D'Amelio beefing over Noah Beck, we're also going to be talking about how Josh Richards got exposed for cheating on Nessa Barrett with multiple girls and how Mads Lewis also got caught trying to take Jaden Hustler back. Buckle up, y'all, because this is going to be one hell of a ride. To be completely honest with you guys, I never really imagined Nelia Devora would insert herself into some drama between her and a TikTok couple. Because I feel like the last time she was involved in some drama is when her and Vinny Hacker sparked relationship rumors all over the internet. And besides this, Nelia Devora has been known for being a very unproblematic influencer on social media since she never really addressed any of the drama that goes around in the TikTok community or even tried speaking up on it for attention, just like the rest of the influencer industry. So we can definitely say that Nelia Devora isn't deeply involved in the TikTok community, although she recently started hanging out with a lot of TikTokers and things might have gone downhill for her. Yeah. As we know, Nelia has been friends with Larae for a very long time. In fact, before Nelia even became this popular, she used to sleep at Larae's house in LA and hang out with him and his friends. And on top of this, the majority of you guys are also aware of Larae's friendship with Noah Beck and the D'Amelios. And at one point, Nelia had to become friends with Larae's TikTok friends only for her to find out that meeting them was one hell of a nightmare. It all started back on November 1st, 2021, when Noah Beck announced on his Twitter that he will be filming a bunch of YouTube videos with Larae and Nelia Devora. I have five consecutive 12 hour shoot days with Larae XO and Nelia Devora. Pray for me. After this, Noah proceeded to post a TikTok video with Larae and Nelia on the 2nd of November. And to be honest, everything was completely fine between them. Yo, bet. Until Larae decided to post this video of Nelia and Noah Beck on his Snapchat, which he deleted hours later after Larae felt it would cause a lot of drama on the internet. Here's the video. Larae then posted this video to his story, but it was deleted a few hours later. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, there's a reason why Larae immediately deleted the video of Noah and Nelia because despite both of them being friends at the time, Noah was still in a relationship with Dixie D'Amelio. But of course, the video already got reposted all over social media and Dixie D'Amelio herself proceeded to throw shade at Nelia and Noah by posting this cryptic picture on her Instagram stories. A couple of days after Dixie posted this Instagram story, Nelia thought it would be a good idea to post a video of Noah Beck on on her insta story on november 4th and i posted and and unfortunately this was the moment where things went downhill for nalia since as soon as she posted this video of noah she proceeded to delete it afterwards and make a bunch of tweets regarding people being rude to her i think i'm too nice lmao to people who are always rude to me too like i am dumb the reason why people felt something was very suspicious about Nelia and Noah Beck is because Dixie D'Amelio has a history of being jealous of Nelia ever since Dixie interviewed Nelia on her show, and Nelia had this to say about Noah in front of Dixie's face. Okay, best overall. Like, person? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Okay, this is gonna sound like I'm not being, um, biased but Noah is I think the no but like I swear like everyone I talk to thinks he's like the nicest person ever they're like oh my god yeah. what is wrong with him like why is he, he so is nice super sweet. yeah Noah is a sweetheart I'm not what sorry are we gonna be the next boxing match no 
Um, as you can tell, Dixie was so uncomfortable with Nalia talking about how sweet of a person Noah is. And as stupid as we are, we failed horribly to figure out that this drama was going around between Nalia, Dixie, and Noah. Until recently when people tied all the dots and went to Nalia's video back in November where she opened up about how a girl recently called her out for allegedly stealing her man from her. I had like an instance where there was this girl who thought I wanted her man because I breathed near him. I like was like breathing and he happened to be like six feet away from me while I was like breathing and she sw she swore that I wanted her man. She was like that she wants my man like bitch like she and I was like Now that we're connecting the story together, it's all just making sense because back in November, people started noticing some suspicious behavior between the D'Amelio sisters, Noah and Avani, after they all kept unfollowing and refollowing Nalia on Instagram. And y'all, this situation kept going on for days until Nalia herself decided to do good and follow them back on Instagram, in which the friend group proceeded to unfollow Nalia and never talk to her again. This whole story has been going recently recently on TikTok and a lot of fan pages have been posting edits and screenshots of the situation just to spread it all over social media. But here's what some people had to say about it. This is so insecure of Dixie, but I can see why Nye is gorgeous and she's intimidated. It's okay that Dixie doesn't like how touchy Nye was being, but she reacted so immaturely that it just looks bad on Dixie's part. Wonder if Dixie mad Noah unfollow her. Anyways, y'all, let's move on now to Josh Richards who allegedly cheated on Nessa Barrett with multiple multiple girls. At this point, I feel like we all know that the reason why Nessa and Josh broke up in the first place is because of Josh cheating on her with multiple girls. And the reason why I can confirm this is also because of how Nessa tried threatening Josh multiple times that she would ruin his life if she ever revealed the truth about him. But just recently, Tana Mojo, aka one of the most problematic and clout chaser people on social media, decided to play a roast game with the Sway Boys on Bryce Hall's show. And of course, she decided to throw tons of shade directly to Josh Richards as she she exposed him for cheating on Nessa with multiple TikTok girls. You would have violated everybody like that. Josh, you violated us almost as much as you violated Nessa when you cheated on her with every girl on TikTok. Keep in mind, y'all, Tana and Nessa are really close friends, and I feel like Tana might have gotten this information from Nessa herself because even Josh couldn't argue and defend herself after Tana threw this accusation at Josh during the roast game. However, as soon as the situation blew up immediately on social media, Tana went on TikTok to address the rumors and speculations going around about Josh by claiming that it was just a roast with jokes and her words shouldn't have been taken seriously. Okay, remember all, this is a roast with jokes. Jokes. None of this is to be read into or taken seriously. It's a roast with jokes. With that being said, here's what people had to say about Tana's response and how Josh allegedly cheated on Nessa Barrett. But in this case, it was the truth, no jokes. Bro, but it's pretty obvious that the man cheated. Like, she only confirmed that with the joke. We all know it ain't a joke. When it actually did happen, Josh cheated, end of discussion. We knew he cheated, but no one wanted to believe it. Thank you for confirming, Tana. Anyways, y'all, let's just end today's video with Mads Lewis trying to get her ex, Jaden Hustler, back. Girl, I literally just hope Mads Lewis's Instagram account got hacked or something because whatever she's doing right now to get Jaden Hustler back is not it. As we all know, both Mads and Jaden haven't been talking for almost a year now. As we know, they both had each other blocked on Instagram after many of their comments and likes on each other's posts got removed. Although, just recently, people have been speculating on whether Mads unblocked Jaden or not after the highlight she made for him years ago when they were dating suddenly popped up on her Instagram main page. Check this out. After tons of people and news outlets started reporting on the situation and how Mad seemed to be trying to solve the issue between her and Jaden, she went on Instagram all of a sudden and removed the highlight that she had for Jaden for absolutely no reason. Yeah, it's confusing whether Mads was actually hacked or she intentionally unarchived the highlight she made for Jaden just to stir up some drama. But either way, here's what people had to say about the situation. This girl just wants attention. 
Just leave the girl alone. She was probably hacked. She def got hacked because she wouldn't do that. Anyways, loves, make sure to click on the tab above if you need more juicy videos on these TikTokers.